Well, hello, friends. Um, today we are going to work on paintbrush because I was looking over some old bugs and I spotted this one. Uh, line, ellipse, and rectangle tools. So I think we're just going to make the um, line tool right now. Um, but we'll just see where we are at with paintbrush. I haven't worked on this app in forever, feels like. So we have a pen, bucket fill, a spray, a color picker, and an eraser. Um, so obviously if you want to draw a straight line, this is not the easiest thing to use. So um, we should probably have some kind of a line tool. Um, so the way I imagine it would work is that uh, you click somewhere and then you drag and then when you let go, uh, it makes a straight line between those two points. And then you would be able to configure the thickness of the line using this uh, pop-up thing that we have on these guys. Um, so let's try that. Um, so let's go to the paintbrush uh, directory. So it's a tool-based app, so we have these tool classes. So we're definitely going to need a line tool. Uh, so we'll just copy the pen tool. I don't remember exactly how this works, but I think it's similar to the tools I've been doing in Hack Studio. And then let's see, we'll just add line tool here. And then um, meta. Okay, so line tool. Obviously, it's going to be line tool instead of pen tool. And then. Um, I guess we can also open the line tool CPP, um, pen tool, line tool, um, and where do we add these to the toolbox and the toolbox widget? Right. So here, ah, my nose is so itchy lately. I'm starting to wonder if, uh, if I'm uh, getting up there age-wise, then we're going to need some kind of a nose hair trimmer. <laughs> it's, uh, maybe the time is coming. Anyways, I'm not sure anyone cares about that, so let's just carry on with the program. Um, include line two. Okay, so... Maybe we'll put it a bit further down, maybe at the very bottom. And we need um, a bitmap for this. So um, let's draw something with GIMP, slightly ironically, since we are working on our very own um, thing here. What was here? Oh. Um, working on our very own drawing app, but we have to use GIMP to make icons for it. But I think that's okay. What am I looking for? Base, res, icons, paintbrush. Right, so these are the, um, the tools that we have. So they are 26 by 26. Um, so let's just make a new one, 26 by 26, and put a layer, and actually this one can just be very, very simple, just, uh, you know, maybe just make a line like this, safe, boring, maybe a little bit smaller, um, I feel like that would be okay. And where are you? Serenity. Let's say, um, line, it's, it's the most boring looking tool so far, but I don't know, maybe, maybe there's a better way to, to draw an um, icon for this. This is just what comes to mind right now. So let's see. Applications, paintbrush, and sync, and run. All right. Let's see. 
what we end up with here. So, okay, well, that's good enough. Of course, it still has the co same code as the um, pen tool, so we have to do something differently. So when we mouse down the line tool, we should remember where we are. Um, so, we draw a line. So we're not going to do this. We're just going to um, say that uh, we remember where we are. So last line start position something like that and when we mouse move then we will say m line end position is event position and we'll also update the widget when this happens. So then my idea is that we are going to have the widget notify us whenever uh, it has painted uh, itself, and then we can add something on top of it. So we can have like the preview of the line, as long as your um, mouse moving, because it's only once you let go of the mouse button that we actually want to draw into the bitmap. Um, M lines. Start position, end position, yeah, 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 okay. And when we mouse up, we're gonna do something awesome. So fix me, do awesomeness. But we really have to do something about the, um, we need the, um, we need to be notified. The tool needs to be notified when there's, um, when we have a chance to paint. So say on second paint, G paint event. Because if you're not familiar, then G widget has two paint passes. The um, first paint pass uh, is when you draw yourself, and the second paint pass is where you've drawn yourself, and then maybe you want to draw something on top of that. Uh, and it's useful when you have child widgets inside of a widget, and you, as the parent, you want to paint something on top of your children because normally we paint back to front. So uh, parent widget paints first and then the children paint um, in, in, in order. Um, and if you want to put some overlay on top of your children, then the second paint event is what you want to hook into. So we are going to make it possible for these tools to be notified when the second paint event happens. Um, so we're just going to have one of these. Um, oh, that's awkward. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it like, eh, let's just fix up the style, whatever. Um, and let's see who calls this, for instance. That would be the, um, the paintable widget, right. So the paintable widget is forwarding everything to the tool. So we're going to forward the second paint event. If M tool, M tool on second paint event. Boom. Um, okay. And I guess we got to actually declare that we are doing that. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, what are we going to do in that second paint here? Well, we are going to draw something on top of the... Um, on top of the paintable widget. So, we should... It's not enough to only have the start position and the end position of the line, actually. We're also going to need, like, whether we are drawing or not. Um, so um, maybe we should uh, have a mouse button, or we should have a drawing thingy. 
but we need to know which button we're drawing with. G mouse button, M drawing button. And by default, it will be none. Okay. So when we mouse down, we'll say M drawing button is event button. And if we mouse down while we already have a drawing button, then we'll ignore this so that you can't like start drawing with the right mouse to get the um, right mouse color and then click left mouse before you've let go of right mouse because uh, then we would get confused. So let's just prevent that. Uh, so drawing button is not G mouse button none. We'll just ignore. And then when we mouse up, uh, we'll say if event button is M drawing button. Drawing button is G mouse button none. Okay, and then mouse move. Uh, we'll say if M drawing button is not G mouse button none. If it is none, then we can return actually, because then we know that we're not even drawing. Okay, and then like that. Okay, so now we can actually paint here. So we'll make a painter. M widget. And we'll clip it to the event rect just to avoid overdraw. And then what am I thinking? We're going to draw something. Right, right. So actually, if um, the drawing button is Gmail's button none, then there's nothing to preview. So we can just not care about the second paint. But if we are drawing something, we'll draw a line. Draw a line from um, M start position, M line end position. Now we need the color. How do we get that again? I think we asked the paintable widget. So uh, color for color for mouse event. Oh, that's annoying. I want it. I just want to give it the button. Um, oh, that's stupid. So it takes the event. Oh, we should just make him take the button instead. Because that's all he does with the event anyway. Or, um... Hmm. Oh, interesting. So he looks at the buttons. Well, that's weird. Let's, um, we can, we can do better here. Or how are we calling this? Let me, <laughs> let me see. What the heck was I doing with this? Color four. So we're using it in the pen tool. Um, oh, we've written all the code in kind of an annoying way. Why did I do it that way? That was silly. So let's, for the sake of simplicity, let's just do this for now so that we don't get carried away with changing all the other code. Button. Uh, button equal that. Okay. And these seems like they should be const. Why are they not const? That makes no sense. Um, okay. So here we can pass our drawing button. And we should also pass our thickness. So now I think we should be able to preview a line, but then when we let go of the mouse, it should just disappear. Let's see how that works out. Um, so, oh, oh, yep. Mouse up does not trigger a repaint. Oh, I have to take care of that. And also, um, when we mouse down, we should also set the end position to be the same as the start position. Mouse up needs to lead to a widget update. And here we should actually paint into the, into the bitmap that we're working on. So 
So the way we paint it to that is by painting into M widget. Wait, is that how we paint into that? That's not how we paint into that, is it? Um, M widget bitmap. This is how we paint into it. Right. Because the widget is just uh, whatever shows up on screen, but the underlying bitmap that we're actually editing is the widget bitmap. Because if we look here in widget in the paintable widget paint event, what it does is just blitz the M bitmap into the widget um, backing store. So if we want to alter the bitmap that we're editing, we have to actually draw into M widget bitmap. Okay, so. Um, now, draw line from M start position, M line end position, um, M widget color 4, and drawing button, and thickness, and boom. So, I think I think that's it. Let's check it out. And oh, that looked really weird. Okay, why the heck does this look so weird? Click here. So something is definitely off because I click here and it starts over there. And then when I let go, it draws it in the correct place. What the frick? How did I cause this to happen? Wait, was that happening with thickness one? What happens when the thickness is different? Um, why the heck? So this is where we're painting, and when I'm, I'm confused. Let me look at the paintable widget. There's no offset to this thing or anything, right? It's just a standard G widget, and in the paint event, it just blitz it the bitmap at zero and zero. Um, okay, so we'll say um, preview. And line start position, line end position, and thickness. And in mouse up, we'll just log that we are doing the final. Because I'm a little bit confused. Okay, boom, and let's actually put this somewhere so we can see what we're doing. So this looks proper. Let's increase this to four. 32 to 24. So these numbers look perfectly sane. It's just that they show up stupid. So is the, um, I wonder if the painter has a translation when it shows up or something by the time we get it, but no, 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 because we're creating the painter ourselves. Um, 
That's so bizarre. Okay, so let's look and draw a line. What do we do with thickness? We call draw pixel. Passing the thickness. So, oh yeah, so these are uh, horizontal and vertical lines up here, special case. And then for um, diagonal lines, we still call a draw pixel for each step. And then what draw pixel does, this is really, <laughs> this is really kind of nasty and not efficient at all. Um, but basically it just draws a rectangle with the thickness at each step of the way. So it's like you're drawing a one pixel um, wide line, but for thickness two, we just draw a little rectangle that's two by two pixels uh, at every step of the uh, one pixel wide line. So position dot translated. This is direct. Um, why is this happening? And why doesn't it happen in the final version? That part is really weird. Um, so what happens when you create a painter over a widget? Translation is origin rect location. Oh shit, right, 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 right. So when you're painting into a widget, then normally, uh, what you're doing is you're not painting into the widget's individual personal backing store, but rather you're painting into the window where that widget lives, because widgets don't have their own backing stores. Um, painting into a widget means painting into the window that the widget lives in. So what's happening here is that we instantiate a painter over this widget, and that painter is translated by um, the widget's location in its um, in its window, but then when we draw these lines, um. Then they end up, because the offset is like, if you look at the offset, then the offset is the, um, the width of this uh, toolbox here, right? This part is fine. Yeah, it's the width of the toolbox. That's the offset. But oh, why is this causing this particular issue though? Um, this is confusing. <laughs> um, ba -ba -bum. So I guess it's, I mean, it's something in the way that we draw this. Because thickness one, then we just go here. We call set pixel. I guess set pixel does not care about translation. Yeah, it's just poking the pixel directly into the underlying backing store. Whereas this will call fillrect, and fillrect will respect the current translation. Hmm. But I think the issue is probably the draw pixel has already performed the translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looky here. So, um, draw line rather. And when we enter draw line, then we uh, adjust the incoming points by the current um, translation of this painter, and then uh, we call draw pixel to uh, draw an individual pixel, and for thickness one, it works fine because we're just poking directly into the bits of the um, target bitmap, like if we poke at the scan line uh, y and x values, but for bigger thickness, we um, 
delegate the work to Philrect, which will perform the same translation once again, right here. And so we doubly translate. Um, great. Then we know what the problem is. Then we can fix it. I guess we can do something like um, rect dot translated minus state translation. Just undo it. Oh, we have to recompile libdraw. Ploop and ploop. Look at those lines. Mm. So very tasteful. I think we are going to turn this into some commits, starting with that painter change. The draw. Draw um, painter, draw pixel um, with thickness greater than one. Uh, was uh, retranslating was applying uh, translation again uh, no, no no was doubly translating um Colors of draw pixel are not expecting it to wait. Is draw pixel public API? No, it's protected. So it doesn't say. It's not clear that it doesn't care about the um, translation. But we have set pixel, which is the public API, which does apply the translation. So draw pixel is the internal thing. Then we have set pixel draw up. Yeah, okay. That's also protected. Colors draw pixel are not expecting it to uh, apply um, the painter's installation since they will have already done that themselves. This uh, was causing draw a line with thickness greater than one to uh, have a double trans uh, to have an offset applied um, in case um, painter was already translated. Okay. And then let's add these. Paintbrush. Add um, line tool. Line tool for drawing straight lines. Um, this implements preview of the line by. Um, Allowing uh, tools, tool uh, subclasses to uh, hook the second paint event on the on the paintable widget. Okay, this also makes me think that maybe it would be kind of neat if you could like. There's no way to abort this, right? Like once you start drawing the line, you can't get out. It'd be nice if you could abort. Um, see if the second color works. Yes, it does. Um, but what if you could like press escape and it would just uh, cancel? I think we should do that. 
And also this stuff here is very loud and we should not have committed it with that. So let's get rid of that. Yeah, it's fine. And for that um, trick, we are going to need to also get the key events. So on key down, G key event. Um, I don't think we need this here, by the way. G key event. So uh, why do we call this? We're just going to take the key event as well. I think we don't currently. Let's listen for those. So we'll just add it, key down event. And then somewhere here, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Key down. If M tool, M tool on key down event great and then the line tool can listen for this line tool on key down event if event key is key drawing button, I mean, if we are drawing. Then, then M drawing button, G mouse button, none, and we'll update the widget. And we will, I think we'll swallow this event. So we'll accept it and return. Well, we don't have to say return, but that's good. So this just means that the event doesn't propagate because we handled it. I wonder if this will work though, because I guess we don't have keyboard focus, so probably we have to set that up. Yeah, we're gonna need to, um, paintable widget needs to be able to take the focus, so. Virtual bool accepts focus, return true. And um, who makes this guy? Right here. We'll just say, we'll give him focus. go back obviously because we don't have undo or redo yet but at least now you can cancel your lines boom boom bah, 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 bah. and what if I wanted to draw in yellow whoop pretty cool so let's click this uh -huh. paintbrush Without canceling in a line to a uh, line by uh, pressing the escape key. Sometimes you change your mind mid line and just want to get out of the situation. Uh, you can now. Do that. <laughs> All right, so I think this is going to be it for today's video. It's a little shorter one. Carried on for quite long yesterday, so nice to uh, do something smaller. Um, but I hope you saw something interesting here, and I certainly want to thank you for hanging out and for coming back. 
and checking this out and so on. Um, it was nice to, to work on Paintbrush again and do a little bit of uh, random application hacking because there's so much stuff in the system, you know, we gotta give all of it some love every now and then. Anyways, um, thank you for hanging out and I will see you next time. Bye.